Hey everybody, how you doing? Well, it's dreaded week 13 of season 202 here in iRacing, year 2020. I started iRacing about midway through season four of 2019. That was when I was climbing out of rookies and getting a feel for iRacing and everything. So we're going to take a look back here with now that we're at the midpoint of 2020. Uh, season 201 and Season 202 have been completed. Taking a look, quick look at my stats here. 2020, my oval category, I've got 378 starts, 26 wins, 138 top fives, and 39 poles. My average incidence per rate is 3.8. I hear on uh, oval racing, four corners, if you can keep that under 4.0, that's a pretty good incident per race rating. Uh, 42 points per race, pretty low there. Win percent of 6.88, top 5%, 36.5, and laps led 9.35%. Season 201, I did run a fairly significant amount of Legends races, and Season 202, I made a conscious effort not to race those races anymore. You know, you can get some wins there, but you can also lose a lot of I rating and safety rating on those races. So I'm not racing the Legends anymore and sticking with the full-size race cars. I do run a little dirt, but I pretty much suck at dirt. I'll run the uh, Street Stocks occasionally and the Wing Sprint 305. But otherwise, my main focus is on the SK Modified, the Wheel and Tour Modified, and the Street Stock divisions of iRacing. I occasionally will race the Xfinity cars at tracks that I own where they make appearances and since I recently regained my A license I will occasionally run the Monster Energy Cup cars at the tracks that I own. I'm tracking my wins on a spreadsheet and my first full-size car win came in the SK Modified at Five Flag Speedway in my favorite car number three. I started on the pole and I led all 50 laps. Let's take a look. You're going to line up on the inside. The road is closed. I start on the pole here on the SK Modified, car number three. It's a smaller field. Season 201, about eight cars. Hey, bud, come to the green. Are you ready? Take the green flag. I'm nervous as all get out here, get through that corner, turn four where you can easily lose it, come down and we complete lap one. Well, I pretty much lead every lap here. Well, I do lead, 50 out of 50. Coming down for the white flag here. And there's a car up against the wall. I kind of wash out, I'm not sure what I'm doing here and I'm heading right for him and I think, oh shit, but I get down out of the way and finish off the last lap as the leader one more time through this dreaded turn four where you can just get real light coming down the front stretch and I take the checker flag my first win in the SK Modified Victory Lane it sure feels good my second win came a couple days later in the Xfinity Ford Mustang UPS car uh, at Talladega uh, car number 10 I started in 15th position it was a green-white checkers, and let me tell you what, this was a typical Talladega race. Let's watch.
Man, that was fantastic. That still gives me goosebumps when I watch it. My sec second ever win at Talladega, one of my favorite tracks to watch real life racing in. Uh, as I mentioned, I started 15th in that race. That was the deepest I'd ever come back for a win. And looking at the rest of my positions here, you can see that uh, third, actually fourth at Dover, the last race I ran in the street stock, was the farthest back in the field that I had ever taken a win. Otherwise, there are a bunch of poles and second place and third place starting positions. The number 10 car is also the second highest seeded car I'd ever won in, with 11 being the highest seed in the SK Modified at Richmond. Uh, have I, as I've mentioned before, car number three is the most winning car I've ever had with seven wins. The second highest win number cars are car number two and car number five, uh, three wins each. I've won twice with car number seven and one time each with car number 10, four, 11. I've only won one race as car number one, uh, top seed, and that was not even a pole position. I started third there. That was in the street stocks at five flags. And then I've won once with car number eight. Looking in a little deeper of my 20 wins, nine of them have been flag to flag wins, leading all laps. Over to the right here, looking at season 201, you know, I have 10 wins in season 201. I've got five of them in the SK Modified, one in the Xfinity Ford, one in the Wheelin Tour Mod, and three in the Street Stock. In season 202, I have 10 wins also, five in the SK again. Zero in the Xfinity, two in the Wheeland Tour, and three in the Street Stock. Looking at my track win count, you can see that the most wins I've ever had is at Five Flags down in Florida there. I just love that track, and that track loves me. I have won in every series that I have raced there, the SK Modified, the Wheeland Tour Modified, and the Street Stock Division. It's the Street Stock Division where I've got one of my most surprising wins at Five Flags, it was a strategy race, a pit stop race. Let's take a look. I'm starting in third position in the number five car. Uh, almost barely official race with only six cars. But I'll tell you, there are two guys here in this race. One has 3,800 I rating. Another one has like a 2,200 I rating. They are cars one and two that are in the lead right now. And the number two car spins, and I collect second place. Cards, cards. Lap one, caution. Jumping ahead to a little over about halfway here. Halfway next time. Well, we're right at halfway. Let's get a rhythm. Long ways to go here. And I am in third position. The number two car got me back. These guys are the class of the field. I'm, I'm really in no way uh, competition for that. Well, we have another caution. 
and they are going to come down here. It's a 50 lap race, take some tires, and then they dive out. So guess what? I come in. We got 22 to go. I want some fresh tires, please. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop on the and I blow through the pit box up, just like normal, up, have to back up. I guess there are right, seven cars, right a total Perfect. of seven cars in this field. So here we're coming down for the restart. Ready, ready, 18 to go, go. I'm in the third position. Like I said, these two guys ahead of me, I'm in nowhere near their level of competition based on my I rating and their I rating. Well, we got 12 to go, and then I get a little bit squirrely there, and I'm going to relinquish third position and fall back to fourth. And that puts me the last car on the lead lap. We're faster than he is, he knows that. Just go up there and get him. We are faster than them. Okay, Chad, let's go. Ten to go as the laps are winding down. These tires have come into me and I'm feeling pretty confident here. I don't know, you know, how many of these positions I can take. I, I think I can take at least one more position to get a podium. And the number car number three car kind of gets caught on the outside. And I am going to make the position for third right here coming out of four, heading down the straightaway. Okay, that feels pretty good. The first two cars that are the, the aliens, if you will, of this race have not been able to pull ahead away from me, and I'm right there with them. I think that pit stop for four fresh tires was a very, very good call. Coming into one here, then the one car has to check up. I get into his back just a little bit, and I just hammer it down. He, he wants over, but I'm, I've got the position. I am now going to take second position, and the fourth place car is going to take third from the car that was the second place car. Okay, now the leader's about 10 car lengths ahead of me. Will I be able to run him down with five to go? Three to go, I've gotten right on his rear bumper. This is spectacular, I am feeling pretty good. These tires are working for me. He kind of slows up in turn one. I go down way low to the apron line. He goes high, gives me room. I've got the inside line. I kind of brush up a little bit. I think we touch just gently coming down the straight one to go and I'm in the lead white flag lap oh I wash out big time there I am just hammering this girl all the way around hell the number three cars come up into the second place position I believe he pitted also and has pressure rubber but anyway coming down the front stretch led one lap Dave and the car number five takes the win at five flags in the street stock division this was an incredible win it was a strategy call and you know very rarely do you get to make that call in the street stock division the only reason i was able to do it successfully was there was such a small field but hey seven cars it's an official race it's official win and i will take it victory lane being able to go to victory lane is fantastic i wish i racing would open up victory lanes at all tracks there's no reason why they can't do that all right wow that one felt good my 10th and final win of season 201 came in the street stock division at USA during 201 week 13. What makes this race so interesting is I had the pole position in my Texaco Haviland Camaro, I love Davy Allison, and the second place car had the same paint scheme. Let's go take a look. Here we are on the grid, two Texaco Haviland cars. I've got pole, Jerome is outside pole in the car number six. Here we take the green flag. Roof cam view for his, from his car to my car. USA, week 13, 25 laps, no cautions. Pretty good size field but we basically just pull away from everybody. He is very evenly matched with my talent. Five laps to go. 
We're still in first and second. He has been all over my rear bumper all race long, but he's racing me as clean as I've ever been raced in the street stock division. He had the opportunity to move me a couple times. He did not do it. He's looked inside a couple times, outside a couple times, but I'm running damn near a perfect race. There he's kind of looking underneath me, but he just he's not going to dive bomb me. He's a good racer, clean racer. I really, really respect that. Comes up, could have tapped me, but he backed out. That was his reaction time. I remember this race, you know, feeling a little bit under pressure, but as the time went by, I knew that he was going to race me clean. So I was just able to, you know, calm down, run my lines, you know, just run a run good corners, and he was right there with me. If he had passed me, it would have been the same in the reverse. I don't know if I could have gotten by him without him making a mistake. Here he's going to look underneath me one more time, but I hold it on the outside. I had never seen another Texaco Haviland street stock car. Well, I've seen one or two, I guess. This was the first time I'd ever have an opportunity to race one. He's going to look on the outside for this last lap. Here we're coming down for the white flag lap. He's falling back just a little bit. This, this was just a heck of a race. I really, really enjoyed this race and racing Jerome. Like I said, he raced me as clean as anybody ever had. It was really cool to see the Texaco Havilands come across the start finish line in one and two positions. And this was a, a special win. I just, this was a great one. And my 10th win overall in iRacing. I didn't mention it previous, but as you see there, I was in my favorite car number three. So I started season 201 with a win in car number three, and I finished up season 201 with my 10th win overall in car number three. Well, that wraps up season 201. Let's move on to season 202. As you can see, my first win in season 202 was in the SK Modified at Five Flags, my favorite track. Started on the pole and led flag to flag. Then my second win of season 202 was my first win at my home track of Iowa in the Wheelan Tour Modified, which was my second win overall in the Wheelan Tour Modified. This was a barn burner. Let's go look at it. Well, we're starting outside pole, Iowa Speedway. Wheeling Tour. This is like the fifth race I've done here. I've, uh, I think I, I think fifth was the best that I'd finished here. And I missed that. Should shake out in third here. got a little loose. This is a 75 lap race and pit stops are involved. During the race there were a couple cautions. There was a little bit of pit strategy going on. One time I took two tires and then the last pit stop I took four tires as did the leader. We had kind of pulled away from the rest of the field. It was me and him equally matched. I needed him to make a mistake in order to catch up and pass him. I really like the Iowa Speedway. It kind of matches up my style of driving pretty much flat out with just a little lifting in the corners. You got to stay smooth on the throttle, otherwise, the corners will bite you. As the laps wind down, I slowly pull up on the leader. Six laps to go, and I've caught right up to him at the start-finish line here, diving it off into turn one. He kind of slows up and checks up. He's on the inside. I'm running that middle groove. That's working really good for me. He kind of comes out high. He wiggles. I dive on the inside. I'm door-to-door -door with him. Number five car, the Goodrange car, and I get him going into turn three. Stick low, stick low, 
force him out, he comes out, he washes out, he gets loose. Five to go. Holy smokes, I got it. Easy, easy, easy. Man, I've got this. I've got this. Oh, he's going to do the dive bomb. But it ain't going to work. He's not going to be able to hold it. I'm going to have a lap card to deal with. Caution. Hot damn, I won. We're going to finish under caution. Iowa Speedway, Newton, Iowa, about 50 miles down the road from me, Wheeling Tour Modified. Today, number four, Craftsman Cyclone Color Fury Chassis. Dave Whitney at the wheel. Gonna bring it home. in first place. Week 7, Season 202 was a breakout week for me. I had three wins that week. That shattered any record that I had, whether they were within one series or across all series. And all three wins came in the SK Modified at Richmond International Speedway. Man, I love that track, and that track loves me. I had a really, really good race in the street stocks uh, back in season 201, where I ran down the leader from five seconds back with the last 15 laps to go. Anyway, uh, SK Modified, three wins out of uh, eight starts. I was playing around after them wins and didn't have some very good finishes. But anyway, three wins in one week in the SK Modified at Richmond. My next win came at Iowa Speedway, my home track, in the street stock division in car number three. I had the pole. I did lose the lead for about five laps. I capitalized on a mistake from the leader and a beautiful crossover move that ended up being the move of the race and gave me the win. Hey everybody, how you doing? Street stock, Iowa Speedway, my home track. It's just about 50 miles to the south of me where I live in central Iowa. Okay, this is my fourth attempt. I am in car number three and I am on pole position. Team pinches it down and he makes it. He makes it work and uh, the 11 comes down on my inside. I'm going to give way. I'm up in my middle lane. Can I get him with the RPMs on the outside line? Going off into one, and uh-oh, 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 yes, the leader's loose, and he comes around, 11 is loose, he manages to hold on to it, but 18, the leader, smacks the wall, 12 wrecks into the 17, down the back stretch, I have regained the lead, wow, that's why I like that middle lane. Car 11's caught up within a car length. He's running the middle line. He's pretty much got up on my rear bumper here, and he's going to, is he going to look? He is, he is. Okay, well, I'm going to go the middle line then. I'm not going to fight it. Will he hold it? He does. Okay, I got the RPMs on the high side, and you know what? Let's do the crossover. Wow, this just worked out just perfect, just perfect. Get right down on that yellow line. Hammer the throttle just coming out of two. Just before I get to two. And I've got him. He's coming back on the outside, but I've got the inside line. Right down to the line at the apex. Hammer the throttle. He's washing up high. I've got him clear. Got him clear. My 20th and final win of season 202 came in the street stock division at Dover International Speedway. This race here was a barn burner. We had a lot of cautions. 
but there was some pretty stout competition in the field and I made a very radical move that handed me the lead for the last time. Let's just go take a look. All right, one through four, and then even five, we're kind of closing in on each other. Take it right down to that apron line. I'm gonna stick right in this middle lane the whole race down the straightaways. Oh, the two washes up. He gets a little squirrely. I have to back off. I do tap him just a little bit. But can I take him on the inside? Nope, I'm going to tuck right back in behind him. Five is all over me because I had to check out. All right, everybody going in the right direction. Working lap 11 down the back stretch. The two goes high again. The 15 is running that middle lane like I am. I'm going to try to dive in here on three in turn three on the two. Ooh, I'm, I'm just not, I'm getting it. I'm getting a good run off the bottom side. You know what? Let's go three wide. The 15 is just screaming going, what's going on? I dive it in. I wash up a little bit, but 15 backs out. I maintain it. The two is right outside my door. We're door handle to door handle. Screaming down the back stretch. It's a fight for the lead. Five is diving back and forth, not sure which way to go. I get it into three. I get right on that apron line. That was a good, good corner. Coming out of four. I clear the two up on the high side, and I am going to take the lead. Let's go look at that again. You know what time it is. Drink that knob to 11. was a gutsy move but it came I had to take it the opportunity was there only one car allowed us not to end up in a mess in turn one and that was the car 15 the leader who backed out you know I've been in that position several times this time I was the one that was uh, forcing the car to back out because I got the nose underneath Season 202 hasn't been all rainbows, unicorns, and sweet puppy breath on your face. As you can see here at Concord in the Wheeland Tour Modified, I was put up on my lid. And then at Darlington in the street stock, there was the incident that I call simply the wreck. Bad job. Be ready with. That brake 
scene and stuff, guys. Your blower, they're going to drop. Down some oil dry here, I'm sure. Her guys, be ready. Be in your position. Okay, there. let's take a look at my final series stats for uh, season 202. In the Street Stock series, the SK Modified and the Wheel and Tour Modified, those were the three series that I ran uh, regularly and looking at points. So I was in Division 4 with the Street Stock series. All clubs, Division 4, I finished in 13th, just out of the top 10. My club I belong to is the Midwest Club, and my finishing position in the Midwest Club, Division 4, was Division 4 leader of the Midwest Club. All right, first place. Midwest Division, all clubs. I came in 18th, just uh, inside the top 20. And all clubs, all divisions, overall standings, I came in 154. Moving over to the SK Modified, again, Division 4. All clubs, Division 4, I came in 6th place. Again, my club is the Midwest Club, Division 4. And again, I was Division 4 Midwest Club Leader Champion. Midwest Club, all divisions, I came in fourth place. That was a pretty respectable club finish, all divisions. And all divisions, all clubs overall came in 54. Wheeland Tour Modified, Division 4 one more time. All clubs, 14th position. My club, Midwest Division 4. Again, Midwest Club Division 4 champion. Midwest Club, all divisions came in fourth. That was rather respectable there, too. And then all clubs, all divisions in the Wheeland Tour modified. I finished 103rd. Well, guys, that wraps it up for uh, Season 202 and 201, halfway through the 2020 year. Thanks for coming along for the ride, and we'll see you next time.